time I decided let me do a marriage video. I haven't done one in a little while. So I wanted to be a bit raw, real, honest about what marriage is like after having a baby because honestly it is something. It is something. Today I'm going to be talking to you about my experience with my marriage after having a baby but also talking to you about a couple of ways to really make sure that you don't get in a sticky situation, you don't feel flustered with your marriage and you even though are having a potential difficult time, things have changed, you know how to navigate it and you know that there's light at the end of the tunnel. One of the things that I would recommend to new parents is really to communicate as much as they can. This is really difficult when you're sleep deprived, it's really difficult when you're over emotional, when you're going through something new, when you have confidence issues in like bringing up your child, your baby, are you doing the right thing, when you've got mum guilt, where well, you're going through a whole load of things. And a lot of the time, like you don't understand where your partner's coming from and your partner doesn't understand where you're coming from. So the biggest thing through this is really communication, like trying to sit down and really understand one another's feelings and really understand what the other person is going through, no matter how, how difficult it can be. Sometimes it just needs to be, I'm feeling this way, you don't get it, but you need to understand it. Secondly, I would say one of the ways to enhance that communication is by like going on date nights, getting out, getting out without the baby. That's not always possible if you don't have the right support system in place, but you know, if you do have family or friends that you 100% do trust with your child, get that time to have that you two alone time. It's not always possible, it's not always as frequent as we may want it to be, but it definitely does need to happen. You to understand as a couple and as two individuals that the dynamic of your relationship will definitely change when you have a baby. And it is difficult, but it's also a new dynamic which will bring new fantastic memories and new experiences along with it. And when it's getting dark, it does get difficult. But at the end of the day, what I tell myself is when I'm going through difficult periods with my husband is that we have to be in it for the bigger picture. If you understand that your relationship is going to change, if you understand that it isn't going to be the same, there are certain things that you will miss about your relationship before, there are certain things that you're going to struggle with. If you come to the understanding of the new reality and expect the new reality, I think it's easier for you to deal with, to manage, to not feel so low in those low periods. Fourthly, I would say to really be able to manage your marriage really well is to be able to discuss it with certain people. Now, I'm not saying everybody, and I definitely think that these people have to be chosen very, very quickly correctly because you can get into the space of you could be speaking to people who don't want the best for you. The only two, maybe three people that I speak to about the in-depth of my relationship and what I'm going through and those two or three people I do genuinely trust and those are the people that get me through it. You really do need somebody who understands you, who's probably in a relationship themselves, you have children themselves, who understand that change in dynamic but you need to be able to talk to them. A lot of the time, it's not necessarily even about solution finding for what you're going through, but it's just to have somebody else to listen to. Sometimes as parents, when you have a lot going on and you are on different stages of things or thought processes of things, it's very difficult to have a good, open, honest communication. So you might just need a third person, not to necessarily get involved in your relationship, but somebody to discuss important things with. And one thing I can say out of like personal experience is that we went through a real strength phase when the baby was born. Like my husband did a lot, he stepped up, he got me through my time at the hospital. We went through a really, really strong period. What I really struggled with is when the baby was like six, seven months, he was back at work, he didn't really understand my life, my maternity leave, what I was going through. That was like a really difficult period for us. What is really difficult when it comes to marriage and having a baby is when everything is coming at once. So when you have a multitude of things to deal with and you're dealing with all these adult things like maybe a potential move, a change in environment, picking a nursery, all of these things, if they come at once. So my advice would be is to kind of compartmentalize through each of those topics one by one to really face each topic head on one by one. Because I believe that as a couple, if you're trying to deal with a multitude of things, too many things at one time, it can be really overwhelming. And that's where a lot of miscommunication, arguments, issues come from, misunderstanding one another. 
So you really wanna deal with one topic at a time. The last thing, which is probably one of the biggest pieces of advice I wish I gave to myself, is to really find a good time to talk about things. When you're a parent, there are times where you're overly tired, you could be potentially sleep deprived, you could be fr frustrated about something. I feel like when you're a parent, especially when you're going through a difficult time, maybe at work or at home, or you know your baby is teething or sleeping badly, emotions are very heightened. I remember I've tried to have like certain conversations with my husband because I felt like they needed to be had there and then and have not necessarily turned out in the best light. And what I have found is that defining a time where we're both calm, we're both relaxed, we are both chilled out is probably the best for us to communicate. I think those pockets of time are a lot harder to find when you have a child and you're not so on, on, on. But making that five minutes or writing it down or saying 10 minutes before you get into bed, like when you're in a better mood or even saying to your partner, hey, I need to talk to you about something. Let's talk when you're when you're able to communicate effectively. I've found that when I find that time or when my husband's like, yep, I'm open and I'm ready to listen and I'm really listening to what you're saying. Those are the best times to really have those difficult conversations and talk about the things that you're struggling with. All I wanna to say to new parents is that take it easy, take it one step at a time, a day at a time. It does get easier, it does get better as your children grow up and they get older, a little bit more self-sufficient. But yeah, let's chat in the comments below.